Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I want to talk about the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon and I guess the end game like reunion that was sort of discussed or there's a question asked anyways. And I'm so happy, first of all, this question was asked. Like I've been saying this for a very long time now at Comic-Con. That's usually where we get questions like this asked. Like usually for the most part, I would say journalists don't really ask questions like this. And I don't know if, like, again, maybe it's because it's like too clickbaity or it's like too obvious or it's just too insane of a question to ask kind of thing. So you don't want to like, I don't know, maybe you just don't want to ask anybody that kind of thing. Like, I don't know what it is, but fans seem to be able to ask these questions. And uh, I mean, they can't really get upset by the questions because we're fans of this universe, right? We want to know this stuff. So it makes sense that fans would ask stuff like this, right? So I'm so happy that this question was asked. And uh, yeah, let's get into this here. So before we go any further, Make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my walking dead content like this. And if you haven't subscribed to the Empty Minds podcast yet, definitely go do so. To everyone who subscribed, thank you so much. We just hit 200 subs, so really amazing. So I guess the next goal now, I mean, our overall goal is just to hit 1,000. And then from there, we'll kind of go up to 10,000 and sort of obviously just like build from there. But yeah, our next goal is 1,000. So a new episode comes out on Monday. I believe it's episode 15. So yeah, if you're interested, I will leave a link down below in the description of this video. But let's get into what I wanted to talk about here. So during the Daryl Dixon panel, and so so that's why I'm kind of I'm labeling this video sort of a, a Daryl Dixon like video because it was during the panel and this show I feel like out of all the shows is going to be like the main show that people watch and the main show that is going to advance a lot of storylines for the overall universe and during this panel after the episode was over. Uh, a bunch of questions were asked by fans, by the moderator, and um, which I will say the moderator of that panel did an amazing job. Honestly, super incredible. It was very, very entertaining. And actually, like the panel was so much fun to watch. But during the Daryl Dixon panel, Gimple was asked about this. And basically, the question was, you know, is the, the is the plan after all these spinoffs are over kind of thing? Are we going to see like this? I don't know, maybe a Walking Dead season 12. Could you bring back the Walking Dead? for a season 12 and have everyone reunite or would you do something else like a different sort of spinoff of some sorts kind of thing and what Gimple said is uh, I mean first of all he was asked I guess the moderator sort of laughed or reacted to the question and then kind of said like well what about like season 12 or this and that like would you ever consider bringing the show back sort of thing and Gimple responded first to the idea of bringing the original show back in terms of like doing a season 12 for, for a reunion with all the characters and he said that isn't specifically planned but it would be good though and then later on he said in reference obviously to you know will they bring back the original show to reunite all the characters and then later says he's not against it so i think that bringing back the, the original show for season 12 it's just not planned right now i mean obviously gimple just said that it's not nothing that is like they want to do as of now it does seem like you know the plan is going to be and we'll get into exactly what he says right away but it doesn't seem like if, if the characters do reunite in any way that it's not going to be in a like a Walking Dead season 12 type of thing. I don't think they're going to bring the original show back to do something like that. But he did say afterwards because he said that and then he like almost wanted to clarify sort of thing. And he said, the dream would be that these shows somehow converge in some way narratively. So that's the exact quote right there. The dream would be that these shows somehow converge in some way narratively. So that seems to be the overall plan here is like the idea of everyone reuniting and all of that that seems to be what they want to do and i think it's one of those things where it is sort of the dream like he said literally if you read his comments here he says the dream would be that these shows somehow converge in some way narratively so that is probably something that he is going to work towards in terms of the story and i think for the next four years four to five years around there it is probably going to be pretty separate with some obviously connections because he did talk about that a lot in this panel. Like he wants to connect a lot of stuff. He wants to make it feel like it's the same world. He really wants to do a lot of like connections here and there and all that. So obviously he is working everything out here. And I think that that is probably going to be the plan. So as of now, it kind of seems like, you know, if at some point based off of his previous comments where he said that there wasn't anything specifically planned in terms of bringing the original show back, it seems like there is sort of a an idea that at some point after the spinoffs are over, all the characters, sort of everything will come together in sort of like an endgame like thing. Like that's all the stories are going to converge, like he says, in some way narratively. Right. And uh, it'll be a really epic moment with everyone sort of coming together, all reunions and everything. And maybe there's like this one last final season, 10 episodes of something, six episodes or whatever it is. Hopefully it's 10. And uh, it's like this really epic event. And then this era of The Walking Dead is over. And that probably won't happen for another five or six years or something. So it's going to be a while. But 
I'm okay with that because I think the actors right now just want to focus on their characters being separated for a bit and then get them back together. And I'm totally cool with that because I really feel like, like I'm thinking about it, in season 11, honestly, it was cool to have everyone together. But it's actually, at this point now, it's like way better, like way cooler to have them separated because the story feels better. It's hard to explain. Like having Maggie, Negan, Daryl and Carol, Rick and Michonne all together Say we had one season of something like that. It just feels like it's too much. <laughs> like I don't know. It just feels like and it's really crazy because back in the day, obviously, those were just the characters, right? But the characters have become so big at this point where just having that many characters, like all those characters around again is so much like it is a lot. And I think that's why the story kind of suffered at some point towards the end, because like they just became so big as characters that you needed to give them bigger stories, right? Because people wanted that because they were just becoming like fan favorites. And I just think at this point now, if you're going to do that, I think for an end game like event, that makes a lot of sense. But to have them like constantly together in like this show or whatever, I just think makes no sense. So that's why I kind of like them separated right now because season 11 just wasn't that fun in my opinion. Like when I look back at it now, honestly, like season 11, I obviously I like the episodes and I'm sure if I rewatched it, I'd actually be able to rewatch it and it would be fun. But like if you remember in all of my reviews, for all of the final season like i was always talking about oh this thing could mean a reference to rick or the civic republic or oh this is how they're setting up these spinoffs like i never cared for the actual story of the final season i never cared for any of that there was some excitement after season 10 like there was some excitement there for when the whisper war was ending and how that was sort of turning into the commonwealth arc that was a lot of fun but as soon as we got to the commonwealth arc like it was just I don't know. I wasn't a fan of it. And again, in the comic, I wasn't a fan of it. I just don't think it's really that great of an arc. There's some excitement in the beginning, but like once that you get kind of into it, you know, like, like after Michonne found her daughter and stuff in the comic, it was just like, besides Dwight's death though, that was really amazing. Like that was honestly something that I just, I was not expecting. And if we ever got Dwight's death at some point in the future, I really hope it's done in a way like that. Cause that was just insane. And that's what I mean. Those are the things that I miss that we just don't have happen anymore. <laughs> like in the walking dead comic, these really crazy shocking moments constantly happened. And I just feel like we don't really have that anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to like get all upset and stuff with the spinoffs and stuff like that for not doing that yet, because obviously the spinoffs are starting something up, but I'm more referencing like the final season and stuff. Like I feel like they should have done bigger deaths. Like, I know Rosita was a bigger death in the finale, and at death, honestly, I'm not even, like, getting mad about the death or anything, because I think it's it was so well done, and, uh, like, it is so well done that it honestly, like, it's it's just, like, so shocking, and it makes me feel so sick to my stomach. Like, I actually can't watch those scenes. Like, I after I watched Rosita's death scene, like, when, when the episode happened, I haven't went back to it. Whenever I watch things from the final episode, I completely ignore all of that, because I just can't go there. It literally, it actually affects me that much. So the scene was well done. I just think sort of throughout a lot of it like you have to kill other characters off as well you know and i think just rosita just wasn't enough and i'm more talking about throughout the entire season like there were so many characters that you could have killed off throughout really a lot of it so and so you know i think that having all characters split up right now i think works really well and i kind of like the overall flow of everything like like if everything ends in six years six seven years from now it would be nice to look back on everything. Like, obviously, they're going to do a walk into next generation where it focuses on Judith and stuff. There's no way they're not doing that. That's probably going to be the future. But at that point, it will be a brand new story. So, you know, so if people want to keep watching, which I will, you know, um, then keep watching. But if you don't want to, you know, that that part of that story, that first era of The Walking Dead, that story is now over. If you're good with that, you can stop watching at that point, right? So for me, it would just be nice to have a, a nice conclusion to a lot of those characters and then at some point just sort of reboot it in a different way focused on Judith and RJ. And at that point, obviously, I would understand that the previous characters are sort of gone, even though I'm sure the characters that do survive will make cameos here and there. It will be sort of a different era, right? And uh, the storylines will be different. Everything will be so different at that point. I really hope that's where Robert Kirkman does another comic, because I really feel like it's probably going to happen at some point, like focus just on, you know, Carl, I guess, being older. And that's something that kind of is really unfortunate about it is in the comic, Carl survives. So like that comic's going to be amazing. Honestly, that comic is going to be so good because it's going to focus on Carl 
much older and just like whatever you know he has his daughter andrea and uh i mean obviously he's at the commonwealth and like there is so much you're able to do there like there's actually quite a bit that you can do there and it's just really unfortunate that the show can't do that anymore <laughs> like the show actually cannot do that i i really like honestly killing off carl is just it's insane but anyways wrapping back around to my original point it's cool to think of, you know, the first 11 seasons, everyone was together, and then they were split up into, you know, whatever for the spinoffs for a while, and, and then all of a sudden, they all come back together, and I think it works really well, because the spinoffs, I think the story is just much better, people love the spinoffs more. Honestly, you're looking at the quality of the spinoffs now, and I'm like, it is so much better than the original series. Like, I'm not talking about specific moments, obviously, there is some really iconic moments in The Walking Dead, but just the quality of the shows, look at the quality of the ones who live. It looks insane. There is probably going to be really crazy epic moments there. Yeah, but actually, I should talk about that. So I don't think even if The Ones Who Live is six episodes, like even if it's just one season and that's it, I don't think that's going to be the last that we see of Rick Grimes. I just, I don't. I know what they said was this this show was going to sort of end the stories of Rick and Michonne, right? Um, I mean, I don't know if it's going to end the stories of just, you know, their sort of just them together, right? Or if it's going to actually end their stories entirely. I don't see that happening. And I really do see it being one of those things where in the future, he will come back to do some sort of reunion. Like if it is actually just one season, I do see Rick and Michonne coming back to do a reunion of some sorts. If it actually meant everyone was coming back together, and that would be like, what, five, six years down the road, if they were like, you know what, we want to do like this final season type of thing, can we have it so that, you know, all of you guys come back together for like 10 episodes, and then we end everything here, and then there's, obviously there'd probably be crazy moments, like this episode, Daryl might die, or whatever, right, like, they could do something crazy like that, though, I really feel like they probably won't kill Daryl off ever, because Norman Reedus is is the one who really will keep doing a lot of stuff with Daryl. Like, I think he would do the Daryl show for seven or eight seasons if he could. Which is amazing. I love Daryl as a character. Like, I, I want, like, he mentioned something during the panel that I've thought about quite a bit. And I, that's why I love The Walking Dead. He likes to age in front of people. He likes to sort of age and see the character just sort of grow from, you know, season one up until now. And there's something about Daryl that is just amazing to him kind of thing. And I, I, I really do understand that. I totally get that. You look back at season one and, I mean, he's a lot like his brother and everything. And he's grown so much since then. And he actually, like, physically looks older now. He has, like, white hair in his beard and stuff. So it's just so cool to see that. And I get it. I totally understand that. You know, like, having Daryl continue on like this because you know just to do more stories with that character i think is amazing and that's why i don't see daryl ever really being killed off like part of me does but part of me is like i don't think they ever could do it because if they did a walking dead next generation and it focused on judith and rj i could see daryl actually making an appearance in that show daryl might be 60 or 70 like they might have to do something like that where he's much older but I can see him actually playing a role in that. Like, it's actually insane, but Daryl actually could play a role in that story somehow. And it would just be insane to look at everything overall from season one, seeing who Daryl was there. He just met this man named Rick Grimes, and he had a family. And the fact that Daryl became such a huge part of his family that many years later, to the point where he was 70 years old or whatever, and he's still watching over his kids kind of thing, right? Like, to me, that's just insane. Obviously, at that point, I'm assuming that Rick's gone or whatever. But, like, yeah, I don't think that, you know, in general, this is going to be the last we see of Rick, even if the, the ones who live is one season. Because I think they're probably going to do some sort of reunion at some point in the future. Yeah, I mean, if he wants everything to converge narratively, then I think that's probably what's happening, right? I think... He's more just taking it season by season at this point and just slowly moving there because obviously he doesn't know how things are going to go with AMC. AMC could choose to do this in the last minute or whatever, and it's just like done. Though I will say AMC's plans with, you know, how they handled the Walking Dead universe is like the best thing ever because they made it so that they could end the show with season 11, do a mega season, and then do these spinoffs. To me, just absolutely incredible. Like, if they would have kept The Walking Dead going on for however many seasons, because the idea was like 15 seasons, and then Daryl and Carol would leave and do their own spinoff kind of thing, and then we would still be watching The Walking Dead and still be following that story, like, that's just a lot. I think, like, it'd be crazy. Like, right now, we would probably be going into The Walking Dead season 13, right? Like, it would be cool to get, like, 16 episodes of that, but I don't know. I kind of prefer the spinoffs. I prefer the quality of the spinoffs. It's a lot more fun to talk about. So, anyways, I'm going to leave it here. This was a lot of fun to talk about. I mean, I'm so glad this question was asked. And now we sort of know what the general idea is, and I hope that we get there at some point. I hope that it is actually something that will happen. I really do want to see everyone reunite, and 
it's just one of those things where, again, we have to take it season by season and just see where we get to in like five to six years. And that is something that, I mean, that's really, that's what it is with everything, even with the Marvel movies. I know they were super successful, but, you know, they were planning to do the whole Endgame thing and they had a lot of stuff planned. But if the movies bombed like five or six years prior to that, that wouldn't have happened, right? So it's one of those things where you just have to take it year by year. And I am sure eventually we will get it. So I'm definitely very excited for a lot of this. So post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.